Good morning, welcome to a weekend in my life in New York City. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla and welcome back to another New York City vlog. I thought we would hang out this weekend, do a little weekend in my life in New York City. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just checking the weather. Looks like it's going to be a gloomy day today and a cold and gloomy day tomorrow which is to be expected. It is winter in New York City. Although the last few days have been actually semi-nice. I mean, slightly overcast, but it hasn't been too, too cold, which is great. And it's 33 today, which I cannot believe I'm saying this, <laughs> but that's not bad. That's not bad. I say I can't believe I'm saying this because if you're new here, I grew up and lived in Southern California my entire life. And if you would have asked me eight months ago what cold was to me, I would have told you 60 or 55. <laughs> because the temperature never dropped down below that pretty much. And now that I've been in New York City for eight months and it's winter, yeah, 33 is not so bad. <laughs> ah, wow, so funny how things change. I don't have anything too crazy planned for this weekend, just kind of like a mellow, chill, lay low, self-care, healthy lifestyle type of weekend with a side of reset routine energy. You know, the usual, my usual vibe. That's just the vibe around here in 2023. I got up super early this morning and edited the vlog that I filmed yesterday. So that feels good. I feel very productive. And now I have a workout booked at Rise Nation in the city. So we're gonna head there. But first we gotta walk these little girls. You guys wanna go outside? Good morning. She's so sleepy today. Definitely bringing my portable hand warmers with me. Those things are amazing. They have truly been saving me because my hands get really cold. I'm so grateful for them. I linked them below and then I also put them on my Amazon storefront under winter must-haves. By the way, 99.9% .9 of everything that I wear, share, and or show is always linked down in the description box below. Because I figure if you're here hanging out with me, we probably have similar tastes. You're gonna like what I like and I don't gatekeep around here. I actually don't think this flannel is going to be enough for me. Obviously, I'm going to put a coat on too, but I think I need to layer another sweatshirt so they're not too cold. I'm going to put on your little sweaters. Yeah, that's better. All right, ladies. I'm just going to bring my gloves too, actually. It's snowing. I'm so excited. I'm underneath like a walkway, but it's so pretty. Snow just makes me so excited. I love going to Tyler. He's like my favorite instructor there. We are in Nolita, so I'm thinking we should stop by this little store I've been wanting to stop by. It's called Modern Mystic. Of course, they don't open for another 40 minutes. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go find coffee slash maybe a smoothie somewhere. It's the pick-me-up, but can I add a scoop of uh, vegan protein to it, please? Thank you.
Here is my mini-ish Trader Joe's haul. I got stuff to make my vegan chili, which we'll make in a second, spinach for smoothies, avocados, kale, cucumber, radish, tomato, and bell pepper to make some of my kale detox salad, which I have not made in so long. And then I got some more sumo oranges, sunflower butter cups, rice crackers, and these gorgeous roses. I couldn't resist. Although I almost didn't get them because I have my coffee table styled now. So I'm not planning on putting fresh flowers on my coffee table anymore, but I still love to have fresh flowers in the house. And I thought I could put them on my dresser, which would be really nice to have them in my bedroom. And they just are so pretty and they smell good. So yeah, had to get them. Oh, you know what else I got too? Organic jasmine rice, because I just love to have this on hand. I'm gonna put this stuff away, sans chili ingredients, and then we will make my vegan chili. I'm just gonna do a really simple version of it. Oh, and I'll show you the crystal that I got at the little crystal shop. Trader Joe's was sadly out of a few things, like cilantro, zucchini, green onion, which are things I like to put in slash on my chili, but we'll just make do. Figured it's fine. We'll make do with what they had. Definitely made a more comprehensive slash in-depth version of my chili, but as I said, they were out of some things, so I'm just doing like the lazy girl version. I do use beer in my chili. This is totally optional. This is just something that my mom always did and I still do it. Garlic and onion, chopped green chilies, green bell pepper, mushrooms, some broccoli, three kinds of beans. I'm using white Northern beans, kidney beans, and garbanzo beans. And then I like to do two to three cans of these diced and fire roasted organic tomatoes with green chilies. And then I'll just add water, salt, pepper, and cumin, and that's it. that I got at Modern Mystic. How pretty is that? It's an angel aura quartz and its healing properties or benefits are communication, concentration, stress relief, and emotional healing. And I honestly just like saw it and picked it up because it was so pretty. I didn't pick it up because of the benefits, but I believe that when you're picking crystals that you just are drawn to whatever you need. And this was just stunning to me. It's associated with all of the chakras because it is within the quartz crystal family, but more specifically the throat chakra and third eye. And the gal at the shop was so nice. She was like, you're drawn to that. You, you need to like speak your truth and ask for what you want. And I was like, okay, I like that. So that's my new crystal. I'm gonna go right here. And I just love it. Three hours later. Getting ready because I'm randomly gonna go on a little first date, a little drinks date. It's very last minute and it's probably not gonna be a very long date, which I'm honestly not mad about. But this guy I've been chatting to on Hinge, he's like, hey, I have dinner plans at eight, but do you wanna just grab a quick drink before? I'm like, yeah, you know what? Why not? It's the year of yes. And I kind of like that I know it's gonna end before eight. <laughs> Just because, you know, it'll be nice, quick, early drinks and just see if we even vibe together. I just realized actually that I never told you about the other date that I went on with the guy that lived in my building. Honestly, there isn't too much to tell. He was nice and it was fine. There just was no romantic connection, but I'm glad I went. I'm glad I put myself out there and you know, he was nice and everything and whatever else, but I just, there wasn't really, wasn't a match. Funny enough, I have not even seen him since the day and I had never seen him before in my building so I highly doubt I'll run into him again. My building is pretty big. I know I've said this before a hundred times but I try to just not put too much pressure on the first date and just look at it like I'm 
going to meet a new friend. And tonight is just like any other first date like that. <laughs> I'm just going to meet a new friend, go have a drink, and see if there's any spark. And if there isn't, then I put myself out there and I tried something new. Yeah. Feel like this scarf is good. I literally got ready so quickly. I just, I can't care. Anyway, here goes nothing. Date number two of 2023. I am very excited about coming home to my chili. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> anyway, let's go. It is so cold out right now. <laughs> but the date went fine. It went well. Sorry, I'm covering my face, but I'm freezing. I'll just talk to you when I get home. Immediately warming up the chili for dinner. The date was fine, nice, not bad, but you know, nothing like incredibly exciting. But here's the thing about first dates is A, people can be nervous. I don't feel like I'm nervous on first dates, but he said something about like being nervous, which I totally get. I try to assess first dates in the way of like, if it's a hard no for whatever reason, then obviously it's a hard no. If it's not a hard no, then I'm willing to go out with somebody for a second time just because they might have been nervous or it's just an off day or whatever. But I will say, and I'm saying this because if you are single and dating, I just wanna give you a little bit of encouragement. And I know it's a little bit different for me because I live in New York City and not everybody watching lives in New York City, but there's seven plus billion people in the world. 7 billion, that's a lot of people. And in New York City alone, there's I think like 8 million people. That's a lot of people. And if you're dating with the intention of meeting your person or meeting someone that you wanna commit your life to and spend the rest of your life with them, that's one person out of, let's just say in New York City, one out of 8 million. And you know, the odds of meeting that person, I think that I am lucky and I have good odds and that I'll meet that person, but I will have to play the game if you will, for thinking in terms of like, I don't think it's a game, but I'm thinking in terms of like pulling a slot machine, you know, the odds of winning, you know, you're gonna have to play the game quite a bit. You're gonna have to invest some time. You're gonna have to be willing to roll the dice many, many times if you want the odds to be in your favor. You know, the odds of meeting your person when you live in a city where there's 8 million people, you're gonna have to meet lots of different people. All of that to say, I think that it's good to put yourself out there. It's good to go on as many dates as it feels good to you. And it's also good to keep in mind that you're not going to feel that immediate chemistry and spark on every first date. And you shouldn't, you know, if you're looking for that one special person or you're looking to connect and invest in one person, of course the spark isn't gonna happen with every first date you go on, you know? Like even this date tonight, it wasn't a bad date. I'll maybe see him again if he wants to see me again, but I didn't feel that like, like, I don't know, initial spark or excitement. Anyway, I, I'm just saying if you are dating, you're feeling discouraged, don't get discouraged. Let it be fun, let it be an experiment. You're going out, you're rolling the dice and just know that the more you roll the dice, the better your chances are of meeting someone who you're going to feel aligned with and excited about. And I'm like feeling so good about my mindset about dating right now. I feel like I have a very healthy mindset about it. I don't feel disappointed. I feel good that I went out. Even if I never hear from this person again, I'm like, I rolled the dice. Every time I roll the dice and every time I put myself out there, I'm getting closer and closer to meeting the right person. And that is very exciting. And you know what else is exciting? This chili. <laughs> I'm very excited to have some chili, put my jammies on, and have a cozy night.
off to yoga. I have not been to hot yoga in so long. That class is so good. I actually can't go to hot yoga that often because my body and my skin just can't handle it. But I feel like maybe I'll incorporate that once a week because it did feel really, really nice. I just have the world's most sensitive skin and I'll break out if I go to hot yoga too much. <laughs> I was actually supposed to go with my friend JC, but I guess one of the subways is down so we couldn't make it. So sad, I've been wanting to hang out with him. So I almost didn't go because the whole point of going was to like, finally have a date with my friend. But I was like, you know what? It's Sunday. One of my 2023 goals is to prioritize my practice more. And so I went and I'm really glad I went because it was a great class. It felt really good to be guided. Although I had this whole plan that I was gonna have a fun little morning out and go to yoga and then go get coffee and run a couple errands with you. But I was so sweaty after the class that I literally ran home, peeled off my leggings and my sports bra and like got into the shower immediately because my clothes were like soaking wet. I did put my sweats back on because they were dry, but like my leggings and bra that I had on, no, there was no way I was going around town in that. And I just was like so hungry. And I thought maybe I'll make a smoothie, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll take myself out to a little meal, maybe I'll make my kale salad. No, I already started warming up the chili. I put it on like low when I got in the shower because I was like, I'm starving. I can't even wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to pop in another load of laundry, have a little bit of lunch, and then we will go out for a little stroll. I still do think I'll treat myself to a coffee out just because I didn't have any this morning, but I was like, I need to get myself sorted first. <laughs> I need to get clean and I need to eat because I am absolutely famished after that class. Also want to go get some more hand soap for my bathroom. I like the one from Lalabo. It's a little bit pricey, but I got the original one that I had in May and I just ran out. So that was like eight months. So I think it was worth it. And I have the hand lotion in my bathroom already. So I'd like to get the matching one for my bathroom. And I really want to get a new candle too, because I do have one on my coffee table right now, but we need one more. It is cold today, but the sun is out and I want to take advantage of the fact that it's Sunday and take myself out on a little date and treat myself a little bit. Literally just bringing my sunglasses, wallet, NARS, lip balm, <laughs> and Summer Friday's lip butter balm in my pockets. Love going hands-free. You know what I should probably do too? I should probably bring my hand warmers with me because it is cold out. We're ready. Let's go. Order decaf, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll be up all night. If I yeah. <laughs> I drank the entire thing and then refilled it. <laughs>
First of all, sadly, Le Labo was out of my hand soap, so I couldn't get that. But I did go to their little cafe, as you saw, and it's a completely vegan cafe. And I had no idea that Le Labo is vegan. I do not call myself vegan. If you watched my Q&A during Vlogmas, pretty sure I spoke about it in that video. I've also talked about it on the podcast before, and I've talked about it on my Instagram. But I do deeply appreciate places that are vegan, and they had so many vegan pastries, and I do eat plant-based currently. And I have for the last seven years. Anyway, I was so excited that they had so many vegan pastries in there. And even though I didn't get one today because I was full from all that chili I ate, <laughs> definitely gonna go back. And the decaf latte that I got was really good. But again, I didn't get my hand soap, but I did get a few candles. I got my favorite candle ever from Brooklyn Candle Studio. It is the Brooklyn scent. It smells so good. This is the third time that I've purchased this candle. It is my favorite scent. You can actually get this on Amazon on as well, so I will link it below. So I got this candle. I also got a really cute little volume spa candle, coconut papaya. It smells amazing and I love the little container. I feel like this will be really cute on my coffee table. And then I got this crunchy chili oil because my friend Brooke told me that it is amazing. And she said she likes to put this on cucumbers and make like a cucumber salad. So I just had to pick some of this up because I love crunchy and I love spicy and Brooke has great recommendations. So picked up some of that. Also got some Palo Santo incense sticks because I've been out for a while and I love Palo Santo. And then I also got myself some little earrings from Madewell. They're really lightweight gold, medium sized hoops. I have smaller ones from Madewell that I've had for years and I love, but I saw these when I was at Madewell with my mom over the holidays, but I didn't get them. And I've been thinking about them. So I got them. They're only 25 bucks and I like that they're so lightweight. So that is my little shopping haul. Unexpected, but nice treat myself a little bit to some nice little self-care items. Oh, it's just the best. It just smells so, so, so good. Pretty sure this is done, which is great. Put my bed back together. And also put in another load, which I'm gonna put in the dryer too. And I think at this point, I'm gonna end this vlog here. All I'm gonna do is finish my laundry, put my bed back together, walk the dogs. I'm gonna meal prep my kale detox salad, which I've made on my channel a hundred million times. I know it's been a minute since I've made it on here with you guys, but the recipe is still the same. The recipe is also up on my blog. I will link that below. I also have a coaching call for my program, the Yoga Inspired Life program, which you can check out more about down in the description box below. So I think for now, I'm gonna just prepare for that. Take a little bit of time to get grounded and centered so I can be present for them. And then I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening. I feel like I've been go, go, going all weekend and I'm ready to like sit, watch a show, relax and do nothing. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, but thank you so much for hanging out with me this weekend. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. When you do that, it really supports my channel and I really appreciate the support. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I hope you have an amazing week. I love ya and I'll see you in my next video.